Generic greetings and welcome back to another Brick in the Mall. In the previous episode we made a cinema which we had a lot of problems with originally. Firstly, I didn't assign stuff probably because I hadn't built one, but I did point this out when I was uh, actually constructing the thing. And then we had to sort all things out the front, like these toilets and stuff which we had to mess around with. But eventually we got it sorted and then finally the projector was actually turning on in the other room and people were getting a bit bored because naturally they were staring at a blank screen. We haven't even got a screen here, they just sit there and watch it but you know alpha games alpha and all of that either way it is now up and running job done sorted this is a building that we also placed which is fine and it's pretty much what we'll be building in this episode among other things so we will crack on let's just go over to a building and we will place actually no we'll, do we want to assign it first we'll assign it first we've got a storage one there store that one there and then we will obviously manage these things. So we'll go over to the storage and we'll change that to uh, G storage. I believe it is nine now. Let's change it to nine and see if it... Yeah, there's an eight there, so that's going to be about right. And this is the... Um, it's the generic household, so we'll just call it a H-hold store. Oh, it's outlet, obviously, when you change that. Uh, outlet. Let's there we are. And that's fine. We will assign the storage to that one there. And this is going to be a store for things like... Let's have a quick look. It's in this one. Uh, the household items. So it's detergents, light bulbs, bed sheets, cookware, things like that. So that is in a shelf, a standard shelving. So we'll go back to build, shelving, and then we'll place the shelves all along there after we do the order counters, I think. Probably best to do the order counters first, and I don't think anything more than three is required, but to be honest, we might as well put the full set in there, and then we'll go along and build these shelving units. So we'll make sure we have a gap so people can get around, and we can't put one there, sadly, because of the orientation but no matter we'll just place them like so and then this one can go like that right that should do it we haven't got a oh actually put some floor tiles in probably probably some nice green ones say nice it's not very nice uh yes yeah, so we'll sort that out we'll pause it and we'll crack on we haven't got a a deliveries area. It's, there's one across from here, so it shouldn't be too much problem. We just have to walk straight across, and we'll see what happens when we change this. So, at the top, we will put detergents, and the full top row is going to be detergents, because we can, and then we'll have cookware and things like that. But once we've done this, there really is not really any of the other stores we can go for, I don't think. This one can be... Um, light bulbs and electricity because why not this one will be we'll have probably two rows of bed sheets actually yeah i think two rows of bed sheets is not unreasonable maybe even three and then cookware which we do have cookware and dishes but it's elsewhere, so it's best to have it all in one go. And then finally, we've got one last bit, which we can sell. Um, what would we sell in here? Books? We haven't got a proper book store, which is a crying shame, but you never know. We might build it later on. So we'll unpause it, and obviously we do need to sort out the opening hours, which is now sorted. Hire cashier, which will be you, and again, sort out. The hours. Uh, I know there's been several people mention about the. I'm not. What actually hire a stock uh, cashier? There, I'll go for a stock clerk because they're pretty good. Uh, there's been several people mention about the opening hours and how we could do a three uh, shift system on eight hours, eight hours, eight hours, and have them running all night and make more money. And that's probably the best way to go. Uh, you're not wrong, actually. It's probably something we want to go for if you really wanted to make more money like if you just want to make more money you just do it that way you have a, a three shift system uh, you can actually get away with a two shift i think but three shifts of eight hours eight hours eight hours but it's a lot of managing and stuff but that's how you make a daily profit because obviously it'll then up it'll count it's see I'm, I'm opening eight to late so i've got 12 hours but essentially it will you know if you're open f full 24 then you've got you know, double the money coming in, which uh, means actually getting that objective of turn a daily profit of 50 grand is is doable, I, I would say. It's probably quite an easy thing to do. 
we might even go about in a moment and really spend a lot of time doing that, but then I don't know how interesting for yourself that would be. Either way, we do need to put some flooring in here, so we'll go... Oh, no, we've, we've already done the flooring. It's just very hard to see because it's like a light mint greeny thing. There we go. So we got someone delivering stuff to the shelf. Now, there you go. A lot of detergent stuff on the back and people parking up, which is good, and the deliveries works, which is what I'm what I was mainly concerned about, to be honest with you. We got people going to the cinema. We got people queuing up in here, and obviously another cashier has resolved the problems with the queues. We have the same issue with the clothing store, which that is now sorted. Although we do have a little bit of issue with dirt. Uh, oh no, it's getting cleaned up. It's it's getting sorted over here as well. A lot of problems with um, dirt on the ground, but again, that's it will get sorted. There you go. The janitor's coming in and fix that as well. Uh, problems with restaurants, we always have that as well. But overall, I think it's okay. Total satisfaction, I do believe, might be going down. Let's have a quick look. Quick look at needs here. That should be statistics. Satisfaction, oh no, it's not. It's it's fine. It's actually fine. Parking usage is only going up. Sales number is only going up. Net profit is slowly going down a little bit at the moment. See, it peaked around here, but it's going down. Salaries, naturally, is flying up. Uh, daily Debt, nothing. We haven't got any total debt or anything. Peak customers is going up. So, oh, 148 customers on site. That's pretty good. So, uh, do we want to make a store that's completely open all hours? Open all hours. One of the best comedies ever created. Uh, we'll go to our G outlet and we can change this. So, do we want a three shift system? I think we might. So, what we'll do... Opening hour is zero, closing hour is 24, so it's open 24-7. We will have a cashier start at zero and go for eight hours. Okay, the second cashier will do the exact same thing. Let's pause, hire cashier, and we'll say cashier, which will work from eight and eight hours. Hire cashier, another cashier, eight to, well, for eight hours. And then hire cashier, and you, good grief, that was a really good cashier. And it will be there, and hire cashier, finally, one more, and there. Um, is it 16? Yes, it is. So that's a full, a full three-shift system. We will always have staff in here. It will be open 24-7. Let's just see if it actually functions. Problem we might have as well, actually, manage. Stock clerk uh, goes, we'll need to say, eight till, we'll probably have two, but it'll be 12 hours each, the work, so 12 hours, there we go. So, we'll see if people stay and shop. Queue's full, actually, in the G outlet here, because we had some problems with the, uh, with the timings and stuff. So, yes, look, people are coming. Or are they? No. It's the middle of the morning. Now and again, people are turning up. Yeah, that makes sense. People would be turning up to to do this, to, to buy here. Yeah, so then then 8 o'clock happens, then 8 o'clock and then that happens. I don't know whether um, it's supply driving the demand or demand is driving the supply. So I had that store open, but not a lot of people turned up. I don't know whether that's because no other stores were open here, so the only people that turned up were the ones that desperately needed this, or if I just open more stores, people are more likely to come at night. I don't know what the case is, actually. The way to find out is to open another store. So let's, let's well, do like this one here. Um, speaking of stores, how is this one doing? Let's go to manage and scroll right to the bottom and we'll see our household outlet. And you can see it is, oh, it's only just, oh, well, look at the massive profit. 27. This time next year, Rodders will be millionaires. Hmm. I don't think so. But yeah, look, there's people coming in and buying stuff. Yeah, that's fine. It's just taking a while. We've got nearly half a million. So I think we've got more than enough to really win the game, haven't we? Well, we've won the game. I mean, it's, yeah, what else could you do? Um, this store here, let's go to manage, and it is the game T store, which is the one that's giving us the most profit. Now, if we want to make it 24 hours, we have to have... 
I reckon we'll go for eight cashiers and 12 hour shifts. Probably that'll, that'll probably do. Probably that'll be okay. So, pause it. Zone, opening hour there and there. So it's going to be open 24 hours. This cashier starts there. All of these cashiers will start right at the beginning. Stock will be the same, right? There we go. Hire a cashier and pause it. They start at 12. Cashier. I don't know why it unpauses every time you hire someone. Cashier. And finally, one more cashier. So there's all the cashiers. More stock. 12 hours. Stock. 12 hours. So, that should be... Oh, they're on 8 hours. They should be on 12 hours. And they should be on 12 hours as well. Yeah, because the default is 8 hours work day. And they should be 12, 12, 12, 12. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So, this is still selling. People are still coming in. Not as much. But obviously we've just changed things, so it might take some time to figure that one out. Right, we're going to go to build and over to foundations. And I really... What sort of things do I want? We haven't got a bookstore. So I think... We'll have a fairly big bookstore around... Actually, we'll cancel that for now. We'll go to road and put a road across here and then put the bookstore around this area. Although, actually, we have to have a road across there because of the size of this. With probably no customer parking, but we'll have a, a loading zone uh, at the back, maybe. I think, so. I think that'll probably do. And another loading zone. And now we'll have... Uh, actually, you know what? We don't need this. I just realised we don't need this. That customer parking is fine. We just need to... Uh, have that. That should be okay. I think that is right. Yeah, something like that. And then we'll have the foundations going along here. We'll have the foundations of that... And that. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. And then this back bit will be the... Um, this back bit here will be the deliveries. Excellent. Right, what was our profit yesterday? It was... Mm, 31. Okay, so we are probably losing a bit of money. Let's just have a quick look at manage and check out this store here. This is the Game T outlet. And you can see it is 17,000... Twenty-one. It's selling away happily, no problem at all. A lot of people coming in. But the question is, when people go at night, which actually most of it's closed now. Look, it's still selling, but just nowhere near. Nowhere near as before. Uh, profits going up. It is slowly going up a bit. Yeah, I don't know whether running it twenty-four hours works or not. I really don't know. And I'm not too... I'm not really not too bothered going around changing at all, to be honest with you. Having this open 24 hours is a bit daft anyway, because of all the stores that would be open 24 hours, it wouldn't be the ones that sell in the fridge. I don't think anyone's got up at 3 o'clock in the morning and went, right, I'm going to get that fridge freezer. I really need it. Let's go and get it now. And they come at 3 o'clock in the morning to do it. I don't know of anyone that's done that. Uh, and I know some strange people. So, yeah, I don't know... Why? Well, that, well that, that, was just, that was just an experiment, you understand. Um, just to try and see if it works. One, two, three, four. So we will have it there. One, two. No, that's okay. So, aye, right, we will probably... Um, we might change it back. We might not. I don't know. Well, we'll have... Do we have two entrance squares? No, we'll just have an entrance there. There's no centre. But... No. There we go. So, this is going to be our bookstore, which I believe is on these books. Is it? Uh, this shelf, is it? Yeah, but these books. Uh, these shelves here, rather. So, we'll have... Them like so. 
and actually fits in quite well. Look at that. I like that. Right, sorted. And we'll have a checkout there, there, and there. We won't really need any more than that because I don't know how many people are actually going to turn up and buy these. And this, you understand, is just me really wanting a, a bookstore in, in the game. There we go. Over to a sign. Store, that one. Storage. There we go. And finally, manage down the bottom. This will be G storage 11, I believe. There we go. And this store, thir the 31st store. G books or book outlet. And we'll change all that to books. Obviously, we do need to sell the storage. We need to set the opening hours to 8. Till. Eight. Higher cashiers. Um, we are gonna welcome to work. Like so, and higher stock. Yeah, they're fine. Would have been better as a cashier actually, but it matters not. Right, so that should be sorted. We have assigned the storage, and finally, it's just a matter of uh, changing all this to. Books and stuff. Might as well unpause it while we do this, and hopefully, it will be have we'll have deliveries. But we'll see. I don't know where the game's ex gonna. I don't know how far it's gonna expand in terms of um, categories. Like, are you going to, um, are you going to dr be able to drill down into different categories of say books? So you're gonna have like um, fiction. Are going to have, like, non-fiction? Or is it going to go even further? So it'll be, like, fantasy, urban fantasy, sci-fi, medieval fantasy, things like that. Or, you know, atlases and maps and um, magazines. And then even magazines, what types and stuff. I don't think it's going to go that far. I think, well, for all I know, for actually, yeah, for all I know, they could do that. I, have, I really don't have any idea what they're planning. Or what he or they or she is planning. I don't know how many developers are on it. I don't know much about this game, to be honest with you, other than uh, it's got a bit to go. There we go. There's all the books. There's going to be lots of that. And naturally, we'll put some flooring in. And I think some sort... Oh, I think it's going to have to be the red one. <laughs> I remember playing The Sims like way, 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 way back in the day. And um, the most expensive carpet uh, and wallpaper, I believe, was like a like a red one like this. Very plush, very luxurious. And you always used to uh, place that one down. And had like, uh, l like love hearts on it and stuff like that. It was... <laughs> Bit dodgy, but whatever. Um, in terms of the bookstore, straight away we've got people coming in, and the shelves aren't even full yet, which is a, a good sign. Don't know whether or not we'll um, sell a lot here or anything, but you know we'll see. In terms of money, profit is going up, and we're slowly getting towards the um, the previous maximum profit, which was uh, th uh, thirty-four thousand two hundred and fifty-nine. Uh, obviously, we we'll still have this store open. This was mainly a test. Uh, profits are going down a bit, mainly because I've spent there. We're sort of stuck, really, now on, on that sort of 30 grand. Um, I don't know whether that's because of the needs that I'm not fulfilling. Obviously, some of them I cannot fulfill. Uh, things like fresh veg and stuff. I realise that we've got uh, we've got this store over here, which sells, like, some some basic things, but, like, and bread and other things, and toiletries. This one is more of our food store, so you've got um, fresh fruit and veg up here, you've got uh, booze and other drinks and beverages, you've got cookware and other assorted things, but we haven't, like, got a, a full bakery, we haven't got, like, a I think for fresh bread, or we haven't got a, um, a, a green grocer. We haven't got someone selling uh, for, like, fresh turnip or carrots or anything like that. Oh, look at them books. Yeah, cool. It's, uh, there's tills bleeping away and we're selling stuff. Um, too many sales opportunities because of restaurants, but, uh, oh, yeah. The, uh, the book <laughs> outlet is currently on minus 2,288%. Two <laughs> Gross profit is 25. <laughs> And the net profit is, uh, yeah, minus, uh, <laughs> uh, 572. What's this on? Miss opportunities restaurants and queues full on the G outlet. 
that's interesting. That do you know what that'll be? That'll probably be the um the the split in shifts. So people will leave, but the other ones haven't turned up yet, or they're still travelling to the the area. I think that's what that'll be. Either way, the book outlet is still making us a massive. It's not even making us a massive loss in terms of percentage. It's high, but yeah, you know, it's only making us five hundred loss. But that's slowly going up. You know, we've we've almost half the loss, and just by having it open. But that might progress on and get bigger. We will see. But I think we will leave it there, and actually leave the series there. I don't really know where else we can go with this one. I mean, I could just keep expanding, building more and more shops. But we are now we've now officially sold everything in the game. Like as far as I can tell, there's nothing that we haven't got. So we'll have a quick look on a sign. We've got storage, fast food, ticket lobbies, movie theatres, maintenance centres, restrooms, and bowling alleys. We've got all of that. We've got everything, almost every item placed in terms of these objects here. Uh, maybe a couple of things like restaurant tables we haven't got. Um, maybe a couple of like, oh, no, I think we have got a pinball machine somewhere. Yeah, it's in there. This way, I think we have placed most of these. We've got pallets down. We've got pretty much everything sold that we can. I mean, look, all of these here. All of these here, look, they're all sold. Same in here. It's all white, so it all shows you that uh, we've got at least one item uh, getting sold there. Check the food, yeah. Check these ones, yeah. So there's no nothing in red to say that we haven't sold it. So we've pretty much got all the stores that we want. We've got adequate parking, we've got movie theatre, got restaurant, we've got uh, bowling alleys, we have uh, stores that are very set. So, well, we've got some universal ones, so this is like a general corner shop type thing. We've got frozen food one, then we've got a more specialised stuff like clothing and um, like fresh fruit and veg and other food stuffs. We've got the, you know, very, very specialised ones which is just jewellery. Uh, this one is like cookware and other such like that and like laundry and detergent stuff. We've got the um, white goods and uh, sort of tech outlet type thing and the media, media one. This is the one that's making us the most money. Uh, obviously at the bottom here we've got like a drugstore type thing thing and then finally we've got a bookstore which is something i wanted to uh, actually place before we sort of quit out because uh, i always wanted one in here so we are going to leave it there and leave the series there that has been another brick in the wall something i have enjoyed quite a lot it's uh it's definitely got ways to go which we've said several times but you know we've never um not acknowledged the fact it's just uh you know, going on from here would just be a case of expanding. I mean, I don't know how you build something that big. I mean, this is quite big already. You know, it's it's bigger than I thought we'd actually get. I think we, I actually thought we'd go out to a business first. I thought we'd actually go bankrupt. But as you can clearly see, um, no, we've got nearly uh, six hundred thousand. So we could build. I mean, what sort of foundation can we build? Just for example, foundations and uh, yeah, I could build a foundation. I could build a foundation. Um, I can't actually build it there because I want to see. So. I could build a foundation about maybe a quarter of the size of what we've got. <laughs> like in like this section, like we probably build about, well, what, what size is it? Officially it is, um, call it 57 by 51. So it'll be that. Yeah, so probably about a quarter of what we've built we could actually just build one big foundation and have everything under one roof if we really wanted to. So we've got more than enough money to sort of win. There's some queues full, uh, more queues full. We've we've messed up a little bit by trying to open up at night, and that's another thing we do it as well. We tried to open it up at night, so there's no real play, no real area I can expand into and explore more of. But anyway, that is another brick in the mall. Links in the description so you can check it out yourself. I will be keeping an eye on this thing and uh, looking back at it and taking another look at the game when it is um, updated more and such, and hopefully we'll add more, add more stuff and make it a bit more robust, things like that. But as always, hope you've enjoyed the video and the series. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.